Let's talk about this petition. A bunch of people have sent this to me. The U.S. dairy industry is petitioning the FDA to approve aspartame as a hidden, unlabeled additive in milk, yogurt, eggnog, and cream. So this is the International Dairy Foods Association and the National Milk Producers Federation. They filed a petition with the FDA saying, let's change the definition of milk to include chemical sweeteners like aspartame and sucralose without having to list them on the label. They can just be swept under the, the definition of what milk is so that a company could say on the label, this is milk, and it could include aspartame or sucralose without saying contains artificial sweeteners, without listing them, so on and so forth. If you're trying to avoid aspartame, you would, of course, have no way of doing so because it's not listed on the label unless presumably there will be some watchdog group that now, will test yeah, no, I just want to get something clear because it's not clear to me and it's probably not clear to some of our audience members. So is this that it's not going to be labeled even in the ingredients or is this only that they're lobbying so that they can say milk on the front, but then still on the back under nutrition facts, it'll say in the ingredients that it has it. So which of these is it? My understanding is that this is that the the. FDA's definition of milk as an ingredient. So when you look at ingredients, milk, milk can include without separating out aspartame and sucralose. That's my understanding. And I've, I've I spent, I don't know, it must be a half hour today looking through uh, a number of articles about this. Is that your understanding, Lewis? Right. It will still be called milk. The ingredients will just say milk, but it will have these added things. So in, Natan's in making a good question, though, which is it might still say milk aspartame on the back, but the front could say this is milk and there wouldn't have to be a little additional notation saying right. sweetened. contains sweetened, sweetened milk or something. My understanding is that it is the former, what we're talking about, that it, the ingredients will just say milk and that can include aspartame. Right. That's what I believe it is. Okay. Yeah. So two issues on this. Number one is the issue of is, is aspartame harmful, right? So, well, let's see. Uh, what does aspartame.org say? Aspartame.org says it's been found safe in more than 200 scientific studies. It's a great way to reduce calories in food, blah, blah, blah. Well, where did that website come from? The website is maintained by the Calorie Control Council. Who is the Calorie Control Council? It's a nonprofit group that represents the low calorie and reduced fat food and beverage industry. It represents 60 manufacturers of these types of foods. So this is a lobbying group, right? So right away, when we look at aspartame.org, I don't trust that website. I just don't think it's, it's the equivalent of the NRA to guns. It's, it's that for uh, companies that make products with things like aspartame and sucralose in them. Right. So that's not really good. So we looked at some more data. There are accusations that the original approval process of aspartame as a food additive in uh, 1974 by the FDA was controversial, that the research was flawed, that there were conflicts of interest, so on and so forth. However, I'm open to more information. I've not been able to find uh, any kind of academic, what I would consider peer, not necessarily peer reviewed, but some kind of academic science based confirmation that there are links between aspartame and cancer and other conditions. That being said, I don't disagree that there there may be health risk to aspartame. But putting that aside, if there's aspartame in milk, it should not just be labeled as milk. That, regardless of the consequences, regardless of cancer.org saying there has been no specific link between aspartame and cancer, I don't agree with the labeling. Right. As we know, the FDA is basically headed by uh, members of formerly of the different food lobbies. And if this were to, to happen, it would be another huge travesty in the long list of um, huge F ups. The FDA has, uh, has been a part of no question about it. Natan, do you agree that regardless of whether aspartame is harmful or not to one's health, you should know if the milk you're buying is milk or if it's milk with artificial uh, artificial sweeteners? Yeah, I 100% agree that it should be listed in the ingredients. That's That goes without saying. Now, whether it should be on the front of the container listed in big letters as something different than milk, I'm not completely positive, only because I think we could come up with a number of other products where it doesn't say that it's not peanut butter, you know, whatever spread. I'm sure we could come up with other examples where it has artificial sweeteners in it or, or products in it, and it doesn't change the basic name of the product, but it 100% should be in the ingredients. Absolutely.
what we need is complete transparency when it comes to ingredients on foods, and the FDA has completely dropped the ball already.